What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K21 course showcase video. We're diving into a brand new course today, Old Fairloni Ruins, from the designer Mark Ross. And this course was just posted on the TGC Tours database, and I'm so happy to dive into it. It really stood out to me. I was looking through all the new courses, and I really liked what I saw from this one. And I noticed, I went through Mark Ross's course courses list, and he's created tons in this game. I've actually played a lot of them and really enjoyed them. So as always, get on out there in game, play this course. Let me know how you shoot in the comment down below. We're gonna be diving into the course from the black tees, pin location number one, and all the default course conditions. That's gonna give us firm fairways and greens and fast green speeds. Let's dive on out to the course. But as always, thank you, Mark, for all the hard work designing this. Appreciate everyone in this design community creating these incredible courses if you get some enjoyment drop a like subscribe if you want to see more you can check out more course showcases by checking out the playlist in the description or just checking out the channel page here we go we get to the first tee here and my first when i got to this first tee i was like wow this is so flat right this is it's but it opens up completely the first hole compared to the rest of the core is like night and day just from view and it's really cool so i'm gonna start the flyover and kind of show you that but i, I this first kind of this first part i i love this last hole so this hole over here i say that now that i love this last hole <laughs> but uh let's wait till we get there because there's out of bounds to the right side of the t on the last hole there's a river to the left <laughs> So, uh, I, I love the design of that hole from looks right now, but will I say that when we get to the 18th? Well, we will find out, but I just love this such a cool. We have the whole town here to the left. This final, I know it's, so this final view here, right here, I know it, it gives me St. Andrews vibes, even though obviously it's nothing like St. Andrews as far as this design, but just how there's houses aligning to the right, the, the just the final whole atmosphere, and it's pretty flat. That's just what this reminded me of, even though, you know, the river in the middle, the ocean to the left, obviously it's nothing like St. Andrews. That's just what stood out to me. Uh, but a, a cool town there. As we go to the course, so I'm going to fly back here and show you. So imagine you're walking up here, you're walking along the course, or we're flying a drone along the course, and it just opens up big time. So such a flat first hole. And then here's the elevation changes that come in along the coast. I just love that difference between the first view and the rest of the course. It's just so cool. We have the lighthouse there on that island in the background. A lot of elevation changes on most of the course besides the first and, and 18th hole. And I just thought that was really cool. And you all know I love the coastal courses. And this wraps all the way along the coast. And then it actually works its way back uh, towards the beginning. I just think it's so cool. The way this was routed yeah you have to get here by boat or maybe a helicopter you know it is a golf resort island it seems but very well done by the designer i'm actually really impressed by this design uh it's and i love these type of courses and we're probably going to miss a lot of fairways but there you have the plot of land from the air now let's go ahead and dive on into the course and see if we can score here old fairloni ruins from mark ross drivable par four to start the day with oh, a river in the front so yeah very it's very these these first the one and 18 remind me of st andrews they really do so let's see we got to land this a little short the more Wait, i see this time. first hole i see st andrews right and i wonder if that's what these first first hole and 18 was kind of inspired by loosely inspired right very well done though and second shot all right let's You're go with this. the flop I know this is dangerous, but I'm going to do an overpowered shot. I wasn't planning for a slow. Huh. No, that <laughs> okay. One. Yeah, that one took a dive. Um, and this one's your fourth. Well, that just happened. Let's uh, move on. Good thing I didn't dedicate that one, right? Wow, that would have been that would have been a story to tell. Very chippinable. Well, wow, uh, I did not expect to find that river on a flop shot. Is about Some of you are probably so feet. nervous when you saw me pull out the flop shot, going for an overpower, and then the slow came out. What was I thinking? We can only blame the caddy on that one. 
A bogey to start the day. Not Ryan Gamer's best start. But it's certainly not the worst. He's had a few, a double bogey. What a view here. We talk about a stunning view here on hole number two. Lighthouse in the background. Definitely going to take this screenshot and save it. Beauty. All right, let's send it. 459 yard par four. I think you've had better swings. <laughs> Thanks, John. Is Are we going to land in that pot bunker? No. No. I bet everybody else playing this course right now, I bet out of all of them, nobody's landing it in the same bunker but Ryan. We're just going to have to hit a lob wedge and get it over this lip. <laughs> I bet I'm the only one. Even in Mark Ross's play test, I doubt he rarely ever hit it into that bunker. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite the elevated green area, so All right, we're going up way. to the sand wedge. I'm sure he's like, oh, somebody's going to find it one of these days. And well, what do you know? Ryan will test out those bunkers for you. From rivers to sand? Good. Maybe rivers, maybe we'll find some roads too. Well we'll just play the song, done. Rivers and Roads. Shot there. All right, nine feet, downhill par. one inch, need to save par here. Steady left to right. Looking good. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I can't remember the last time Ryan right, has started with two bogeys, bogeys, but if somebody out, which yeah, one of you all called in the here. bogey train? Back -back Who did it? After that putt drops. Uh, can you all send that bogey train <laughs> away right, and send the birdie train? Over. But do you all remember that time when Ryan Gamer started with two bogeys and then he went on to play exceptional golf? Look at this view. That's another stunning view. Do you all remember that? And he went on to break break a course record? You're about to find out. Let's ace it. I'm going to dedicate this one to the designer. All right. Ross, this one's for you. It's going to be a tough one to ace. 333 yard par four. My favorite type of hole in golf. Beautiful swing. Beautiful swing, it really was. It's got a hold. Get off the green. Get off the green, we can chip it in. What a shot dedication, let's go. That one's for you, Mark. All right, let's send this in for Mark. Casual chip in Eagle. To erase the bogeys. Skipped over the hole, just a bit nice too much. Chip. You know, I will say Mark forgot to, you know, Ryan Gamer is staying yeah, in the town back there. The only place to stay on this island, this unless you want to pitch a tent in the woods. But, nice Mark forgot to wake up early and put the too. magnets in the cup. That. Ooh, 111 yards downhill, 52 feet. Oh my. Not very often we play shots like this. Probably going to go to the lob wedge. That swing was to die for. Go in. Oh, oh. well, we I showed you all how to hit the right club, right? Yes, we're back to even. Thank you for that birdie train. Let's get some coffee. Cheers to your coffee drinkers, whatever your beverage of choice. There you go. I know. I know. Ben the other day said a ginger ale. Very nice. And I know Kevin's out there drinking coffee. What? Are, what are your all's beverages of choice during these videos? What a view here. Let's get a. I forgot to take a sip of coffee. Cheers. All right. Let's take a look here. I really like this view here. Yeah, gorgeous. With the sun in the back, the sun right at the top there. It's really pretty. Lighthouse to the left. Definitely saving that screenshot. Gonna take it always takes me so long to find a uh, YouTube thumbnail because I look at these pictures so much <laughs> and I this put them side by chaos. side. I'm like, which one do I like the best? This one? No, I like this one. No, I think I like this one. So that's that's what I do. Sorry about that. I call Another it like I shot it. in the rough. And uh, I didn't see that rough coming. Listen to John. I call it like I see it. Didn't see the rough coming. That's your first mistake, John. I'm not sure if we found the fairway yet. No, I take that back. On hole number one, we definitely found the fairway. We can't get this there. That's unfortunate. We just got to send it into the fairway. Got some pretty good snap out of that. We're going to be splashing it from the fairway. Right back oh, on the, the fairway. fairway. <laughs> the fairway there. does exist. Setting you love to see it. Third shot. 
hold. I, I didn't put any backspin on it. Thought the uphill eye was going to kill it a little bit. Here's your fourth. Chip in for par. Very chip in. Well, everybody one time this one right now. Just say it out loud. Type it in a comment. Whatever. Whatever has worked for you in the past. One time. Oh. Yes. Nice. Which, whatever you all did that there. Keep way. doing it. <laughs> I gotta say, good job. Whoever one time yeah, that went in. I'm sure there's a lot of you all one time in. We have a lot of one timers crazy. on the channel. From PGA and baseball stuff and all the other sports as well. Beautiful shot. Needed that one. After that, Hoyle, stay Especially right being for par. Ooh, a dog leg right along the sand the and water. Now. Can't drive the par four. We've just got to send it in the fairway. Okay, tempo's off right now. We got to find it. Get lucky. Get lucky. Well, that's that's not what I had in mind, but okay, we're in the I, I have rough. hit worse. Careful. All right, here we go. Let's see. 78, 85% lie. Going to go up to the 7 iron here. Full backspin. A little bit of loft here. Well. This one's going Slide left. on the fast side. It's gone. Again, Back tempo's of off right now. Get... Okay, here's our third shot. Very chip inable down this hill. Ryan must have forgot to hit the range before he went to the course today. Oh, come on. Oh, oh I was about to say, but he hit the putting green and chipping green. <laughs> but apparently he didn't hit that either. <laughs> Nine feet uphill, two inches. Wow. Okay. He didn't hit the putting green. He did hit the chipping green because I think we've had feet. two chip ins. So far, so good. Wow. Is this course good hard or are we just so playing good. this bad? What is happening out there? This is one of Ride Gamer's worst okay, performances on, the round, on a course showcase video. All right, pop a nice one we knew it happened one day. One. You know, it's rounds like this that keep Ryan humble. I'm gonna, you know, when we get up to the next tee, we're gonna start doing about 20 practice swings, getting sweaty out there. Nice shot. Here we go. Oh, I like the fin the the so stone away. wall, the old stone walls there. Very cool. Really well designed course from sculpting, elevation changes, framing. It's just they did a good job. I'm gonna send this one off the slope. It's gotta go. Come on. Hop, skip, and a jump. I'm starting to sound like John. <sighs> Maybe I need to turn John off. I've had him on too long. When I start using his. A little wayward Wolves. on the approach. That's all that's right, when though. we're in trouble. This is what our third <laughs> shot's looking like. That, that's when it's time to move on, man. <laughs> you hate to see it. Did I really just just forget right, that I said that, line. everybody? I did not just use a John line. And Nobody heard that. Be. Everybody move on. Everything's fine. Sitting at one over for the round. Ooh, up the hill. Okay. Short par. Four. It's not a long Coming course out. either. It is... I would consider it more of a link style type course with the way these fit. Okay, I'm going to practice swing. There it was. <laughs> Did we slow? Looks Let like me guess. Sand. Yeah, that one bunk. You know those one bunkers? You. Oh. Thank you, well, Mark. After all that, you ended up in the fairway. Well Mark, done. great sculpting there. You know, we're just going to wave to the fans, walk away like nothing happened. What we tried to do is hit the shot close. Completely an intentional front of the bunker hit we'll onto the other side play. of the bunker. I wouldn't have it any other way, right? <laughs> Perfect distance left at the seven footer. Steady Without right to left. Hot. Looking pretty good. Let's go. Great job in there. Let's get, we need this. We need the energy. We're back to even. A little up and down front nine. Currently <laughs> sitting right at even power. All right, 145 yards downhill, 21 feet. Right. Gonna go with the nine iron, take some off of it. Nice. Swing Send it off. into the hole. Oh. It bounced. It bounced left. I was expecting it to move right. But what do we know, oh, right? Yeah, we, we just play golf. Okay, 11 feet. To Ooh, this is with. tough. You want to be on the other side of the hole. We have a 
Wow. Yellow break, right and left. 11 footer with about a foot of break. Let's go! We couldn't get the right camera angle. We need to talk to the cameraman, see if we can get some better views out here. <laughs> It's gonna bring it down to one under par. Oh, what a view! Gentle. This course is so well done. 550 yard par five, downhill 82. I repeat, do not hit it into the water, Ryan. That's my caddy advice to Ryan. No water. <laughs> I was so nervous. If if I I wish I could have a heart rate monitor that actually put the beats on screen scream for you all. Because if my heart rate was shown there, I raised by about 20 beats per second when I went to hit that drive. <laughs> well, you might need a little less club than normal here. That yeah, 180. Is, uh, I actually, that'd be cool to have a heart rate monitor on there. 188, gonna fly 10 yards further. It also would probably be concerning, right? <laughs> it would probably actually be really concerning. Like, okay, I need to stop playing, apparently. What a view here. Great swing. This is for you, Mark. Hopefully a post shot dedication, kind of. Mid shot dedication, does that still count? By definition, I don't think it counts. It's got to be before the shot. Chat in live streams has told me that multiple times. I tried to, I went through so many bad Nicely shot dedications, I decided green. to start yeah. doing post well, shot dedications. <laughs> but chat, chat didn't the, think yeah, that was the same. So here we go. Birdie with big wings. This one is going to be for you, Mark. 18-footer, steady left to right for Eagle. Going towards that, hole. that one's for you, Mark. Awesome. Magnet Good activated into the cup. Here. Let's go. Birdie, birdie, Eagle. We're back. Let's birdie out. For the day. Leave out all it's the frustrations on the course. You beat hole. that course up, Ryan. That course is in danger. Settle down your trash talk on the course. Uh, save that for the right mo. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this one's wow, uh, you out. know, we have to give a stop and give a round of applause to the designer for that. Thank you, Mark. I mean, what, that is awesome sculpting right there. And I think Mark's ghost might have been over there and kicked that ball right into the fairway. <laughs> what just happened? Okay. Calm down, send this one into the hole. Settle down, Ryan. Don't get the heart rate up. Let's go, kick right, kick right. Kick right. Look at this. Me and John caught, we asked for it and it happened. We're getting some crazy uh, good bounces this round. On that one. Pin, high. Pin high here, Sick 11 footer. Downhill three inches, steady right to left putt. I thought there was ghost break at the end. I thought the line was actually moving and it wasn't showing it. That's my fault. Trust the green. Trust the designer. All right, seven holes remaining here. This holds a par four. 420. Oh, in the right tailwind, you can wait. We're still going to try to send this all the way down that hill. Could you imagine if we can actually pull this off? Could go down in history as one of the greatest 105 perfects of all time. I love that golf design though. Sad this bunker's here. <laughs> you all oh, will have to let me bad. know what you did on hole number 12. Right, did you send bunker, it all the way goes. down? That's such a cool golf hole. Such a cool golf hole. Wow, did that shoot hot out of that sand. Okay, I just wanted a long putt for birdie. Lie in the bunker. A lot of work left to do still, though. 42 All feet right. downhill, Let's three inches. Steady left to right, to down the slope. The One time. One time right here. Come on. The power of the one time. No. Ooh, Such a great one. read, Just, uh, though, right? We can't really complain about that one because, wow, was it on? Man. 
We're playing Just much better golf here players. on the back versus the front versus the well towards right, the end of the back. Keep you at three under. Into the front, I mean. Wind is blowing. All right, gonna have to hit to the right. partial nine iron here. Tough pin location here. 129 yard par three. Oh, wonderfully struck. Not bad. Well, that'll do for now. Here's a look for birdie. Steady left to right. Maybe yes, the magnet mark mark went over time here again. after that first hole. Put the magnet. He accidentally put the ma magnet in the Bring river on hole number one. That, that was the one. mistake. A designer Let's has already came and apologized and put him into the cups. We're getting the great <laughs> bounces now. Okay, 312 yard drivable par four, but it is into a headwind. I don't think we get this back there. Map collector could with the 105 Go uber right could down. got the 103 oh this is going look at this incredible golf design i mean look at this go in another round of applause for the designer beautiful sculpting perfect and, uh, that's another green and regular this eagles for you mark nine feet to the cup I don't even know if Mark's out there. I don't know if Mark watches YouTube. But that eagle's for you. That's two eagle dedications, right? I, that is, round. right? Let's see what wow. happens on the 15th hole of this course. 496 yards. You notice I'm dedicating the putts, though, that are pretty simple to make. Did anybody notice that? <laughs> I mean, that's better than mid-shot dedications well, and post-shot like dedications. Am I right? Even though I'm supposed to dedicate the approach shot and then the rest of the shots, right? Okay, we'll get him on the on the okay, 18th. We won't hit it into the river. Down. 180 yards downhill, 51. This is such a well-made course. I really have enjoyed it. What a what a gem to release. Come on, give us a kick right. And honestly, this course was just posted. Like I just checked the database and it wasn't on there, and I checked the database again and it was in on there. So like, well, you're not gonna hit every green today. So maybe it was just right. approved instead, because I know they post them usually a few days early, but it takes a little bit for the courses to actually get approved. They go through a screening process. Sent that one. All right, drop this on in and save your park. Hit 12 footer, slide up the hill, steady right to left, okay. and oh, it's in the line. hole. Let's go. Okay, moving on. All right, three holes remaining. A par three, a par five, yeah, and a par four. Wow, the last hole is a drivable par four. Okay. To deal with on this, this designer, this designer I know knows this channel. This designer knows me, knows the golf I like, because it's built a golf course of a lot of my favorite holes. I don't know if it's an intentional. Get to the right. Get to the right. I'm not playing well <laughs> overall. So, I mean, it's sneaky tough. Well, you can't sneaky hit them tough. All. Can't hit them all, right, John? Righty, second John shot knows. on the 16th. Again, I'm not putting any shot shaping. I'm making mistakes. Right, we've got this left Ryan's got to wake up. I don't think he drank enough coffee this morning in the clubhouse. Maybe the clubhouse didn't provide coffee for right Ryan. By the hole. Maybe. Okay, this left for bogey. All right, there's the okay, bogey. We're moving on. Let's let's get this next hole. <laughs> I mean, look at this scorecard: four bogeys, four birdies, and, and two eagles. Five okay. After that one. Part. Up we, now this is my 17. favorite finish. A par, f either my favorite finish is either a drivable par four, on seventeen, and then a a very scorable par five at eighteen. And it, it, to put the cherry on top, it's a. Uh, aceable par 3 on 16. Here we go. Long par 5, though. Never mind. I take back what I just said. This <laughs> I take... Some of you are probably sitting there like, Ryan, did you look at the yardage? No, this is actually my least favorite type of par 5. But... At least we have a drivable par 4 next. And here's our second shot on the I'll never understand the appeal of long par 5s. I never will. That's bold. Using the driver off the fairway. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Now that's just the course mad at me after me blasting it for Those having this par five. That that hurts. Third shot. I think 
designers must like long par fives? I think golfers don't really like them. But I, there has to be something in designers, in the designer world, where they're like, we have to have one long par five. Let's go! We chipped it in! Take that long par five. Yeah, we'll settle down, John. We won't... We, we'll humble ourselves. Settle down. The bogeys have humbled us enough. Getting a sip of coffee. Cheers to you all. These courses, I mean, this is not a, even a, na this is not even a competition course. It's just a new course that just released. Let's see how you wow. Here oh, here we go. This is so sick. That is such a cool golf hole. Like the river there. That is really cool. Definitely going to screenshot this. Just trying to find the best angle to screenshot it from. Maybe even from the first hole. With the river in between. I just want to save that for my own record. Because I really like it. Alright. 327 yards. Oh. We, this wind is going to make it tough. Alright. This one's for you, Mark. This one's for you. This could be good. No laying up Such for you today. Danger. Hey? But, it, okay. This is how you design, though, a drivable par 4, Right? It shouldn't be easy. There should be danger right, everywhere. Good luck with and there's danger everywhere on this on one. <laughs> so very well designed. Uh, I think we're going up to the 30 down that slope. A little bit of backspin for you, Mark. Huh. I think I was a little too excited. Maybe we'll stick to putting dedications for Mark. <laughs> Oh, we're off the green. Okay, third. we can still chip this in. Very chippinable. To finish seven under after a terrible front nine. Let's go. That's for you, Mark. Big birdie. Birdie, birdie to finish out seven under on this incredible golf course. Round of applause for Mark. Thank you for the hard work designing this. Five out of five, 10 out of 10. It is. I did not see the gamer ability squirrel Easter egg, but I don't think it gets the gr the squirrel stamp of approval for having the Easter egg for us here. But it almost got bonus points, ultimate bonus points. If that part five would have been shorter, I love the finishing part four. That was awesome. But wow, if that part five was about 80 yards shorter before it, that would have been one of my favorite finishes in golf. Uh, but. Thank you so much for the hard work designing this. Definitely going to favorite it. Definitely five star. <laughs> okay, nobody look at the percentages up there in the top right. There's nothing to see here. Uh, I think it says 100% fairways and 100% gers, something like that. It might be glitch. I don't know why it says 50%. Um, I don't know. Something must have went wrong there. I'm not quite sure why it says 50%, but let's go to the scorecard. <laughs> oh, no, let's not show the scorecard either. I forget. <laughs> okay. I'm one under on the front with three bogeys. Two eagles on the back, though. That was a clutch back. Six under on the back, one under on the front. What a golf course. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Check out the full playlist if you're looking for other new courses to play. There's plenty of them to binge watch at this point. And I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.